just isn't my day. Oh. <laughs> you mind leaving a little for the camel? You're American. And you're drinking water that comes from a stagnant pond. I'm from Brooklyn. I've had a lot worse. My name's Lewis. My name's Jesse. Oh, nice to meet you. Want to give me a hand? Uh, okay. <laughs> No offense, but these are the ugliest rabbits I've ever seen. They're called bilbies. They're oh. almost extinct. In fact, it's up to these guys to repopulate the entire Devil's Marbles area. Somebody's going to be having fun tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Looks like you're going to need a couple more bilbies, though. Well, if the foundation I work for had more money. You mean the Wildlife Foundation? You work here? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. This is great. Look, I need some help. See, I put my lucky jacket on the back of a dead kangaroo who came to life and then hopped off with all my money. You do need help. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm for real. Can you help me? Do you have any idea where he is? No. Well, it seems to me you need an airplane. You need a tranquilizer gun. Huh? You need a list. He's unbelievable. I figured out how we're gonna catch that kangaroo. First we hit it with a car, now you wanna blow its head off? No. This is a tranquilizer. It works in three stages. Stage one, temporary blindness. Stage two, partial paralysis. And stage three, complete shutdown of all motor skills. Totally humane. Sounds humane. I said it was temporary. Look, I walked to this wildlife office, and there's this American girl that works there, and she is. Epileptic. Her name is Jessie. And I told her the story. I even showed her a picture of the kangaroo. You told her the kangaroo has $50,000? I told her the kangaroo has $4,000. And our passports. <laughs> Not bad. She told me the best way to find a kangaroo is by air. What's that? A number two bush plane that we can hire. I like it. Let's go call. <laughs> If I didn't know you better, I'd say this is a honey of a plan. Mm. Thanks, Skippy. Mm. Excuse me, mate. Can I point Percy at the porcelain? Gee, I almost made it. Mm. By this personal note. Hello. Hmm. 
I grieve to hear that, Mr. Smith. Of course we have a deal. Please, advise me if this situation changes. Those two monologues didn't show. Our friend feels they pocketed the 50 Gs. Maybe they figured it out. My stepson couldn't figure out a cheese sandwich if they spotted him the pumpernickel and the provolone. So what do you want to do? You possess a valid passport? Oh, 